Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Rimworld Ascension, Episode 8. Where we left off last time was a pretty good position, so the goals for this episode are just to try and maintain our new uh, colonists and hope for the best. So, I don't really have a very specific plan for today. We're just going to try and increase crop output, get research done, and finish the base. That's about it. I don't think there's any more missions that we really need to go do, strictly speaking. So we won't really be focusing on that. Why is Myers in... Oh, that's right, food poisoning. And rain, which is very convenient to put out those fires. Very good. That, that's actually exactly what we needed. Those fires could... Uh, they could destroy what little wood remains on the map. Now... I've noticed that our cooking quality has gone down pretty significantly, so we are going to simply install a torch to provide some light. Now the problem is, again, we don't really have a lot of wood left in storage. We're making do with what we have, but a lot of it is out here still and needs to be picked up and brought in. A lot of our people are also having pretty high chance of mental breakdowns due to a myriad of uh, problems, to say the least. Um, other than that, everything seems to be going alright. First area we're going to dig out is going to be here. That way we can get a proper hospital set up so that we can treat people safely in a clean environment. We will actually just reinstall this here in order to save a little on resources. I don't think, yeah, we can't move wells or toilets. All right, now it has been a bit. Oh, um, I don't remember taming the skip hound. I remember that was something I was trying to do. I must have missed that notification last episode. Well, in that case, we need to get that guy trained up. So now we have a little pet. Now, can what can you eat? You can eat corpses, meals, processed foods, and kibble. And raw meat. Okay, simple enough. Let's see, are you... You're unrestricted. Yeah. So now we have a lovely teleporting dog. Perfect. Starvation. Why are you starving? Oh, right, because you have massive food poisoning. Let's see. Medical treatment needed for bruises. Okay. So, Myers is our best medic. However, they are a tad preoccupied. So, we will instead have you take over instead. Uh, how's our food situation looking? 18 meals. That's not bad. Three days worth of food. I can work with that. Kind of. Yep, we're getting a lot of food poisoning now because, well, we had to get rid of our good chef last episode, so we're stuck with this person. Which, I mean, they're not, they're not bad at cooking. But they're certainly not as good as I would like them to be. Although, this, it's funny, because they're cooking and they have this. So, we're just getting that unlucky. But, that's the kind of unlucky I would rather have than what we had for the last couple episodes. So, I will take having food poisoning over colonists dying of starvation. And we actually have a little reserve of food, so I consider this a win. Uh, we got 47 Ambrosia out there that we need to haul in. Looks like we got all the wood, too. That's good. Alright, we are making good progress. It's a lot of potatoes. In fact, that's almost all the potatoes. So, we will now begin setting up 
our new growing zones in this area. So I think I'm going to change what my initial plan was uh, last time, seeing as we do have very limited food. We're going to grow potatoes there, and we're going to grow rice here. And then we'll switch this to beets when it starts getting close to winter. But for now, it is spring, so I'd rather build up a large reserve of rice and potatoes before winter comes. Then once winter starts coming, we'll switch them over to the beets so that we can grow those. Or at least that's the plan. Whether or not that plan works, then we'll have to figure that out. We are going through our ambrosia stockpile pretty quickly, but that's good because it means that everyone will be keeping their mood and recreation up. And why were we trying to con do with you? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, convert, that's right. We're trying to just convert you. Yep, more food poisoning. So, uh, my thinking is these food poisonings might actually be coming from uh, the guy we exiled. Because he, he did cook some meals before he left, so those might very well be his meals. Oh, no. What's that? I was going to vent his anger. He's going to go just punch him. Okay, that's fine. So long as you don't kill him. Okay. That went about as well as I could have hoped. Oh, and Myers is now on an insulting spree, so we need to switch to one of our other medics. You're not going to bleed to death, are you? You're not. You're fine. Are you being fed? You are. And you're not going to die either, so... All in all, everything looks to be going all right. We are running a little low on storage space. Now oh, that's something I didn't set up in here. Uh, was I knew I was forgetting something. I don't have a spot to store resources. So we will set a plan for that now. Let's see. We haven't used yellow yet. So let's, let's assume we're going to expand that a little bit. So something like this, I'm thinking. That way the roof doesn't collapse, and it's a large area for storing things. I think that'll work just fine. Also, the map is starting to look alive again, or at least the area here where we've been defending it. Yeah, we got a good reserve of food. We can build food baskets, so once we dig this out, we'll have a spot we can... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we can... Consolidate our uh, storage for food. Okay. Man, we are making a lot of ambrosia. Alright, looks like the new bathroom is mostly functional. We seem to be able to keep up with our food production currently. Okay, so a lot of things just happened. So, Enbon's going on a fire starting spree, but there's some rain going on. And an Ambrosia Sprout, which is the only way in the base game, I believe, besides purchasing it, to get Ambrosia. Well, maybe not. I don't know if the Nectar Maker is a base game or not. I think it might be. I don't know. I haven't played base game in a long time. Let's see if the Drizzle can put out that little fire. Oh, -ho. hello, you seem to have crashed into my colony and you have really high plants, passion for animals and intellectual. Let's see, who's the warden? Calhoun. Calhoun? No, don't rescue. Arrest. We need to arrest them so that we can convert them. So that they follow your religion. 
or ideology. I keep, I always get those two mixed up. So you have been captured. And Bond, did you tend to your wounds? You did. Good. Tend. And the first thing we're going to do is convert. So uh, that is if you survive, which you should, because you only have two wounds that are bleeding. If he could get that done a little faster, that'd be great. But he has major food poisoning. Okay, so you're not going to get that done in time due to your major food poisoning. Myers. Myers, you don't have major food poisoning. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, and they have an... Who has an affection? Oh, Enbon has an infection. Oh, no. Well, he has the super immune, so he should be fine. Oh, that's right. I might want to also give those guys a proper bathroom. I never did get around to that. Hmm. That might be a problem. Okay, let's give them same simple... No, I think that's facing the incorrect direction. Um... No, there we go. This might be worth setting up, uh, given the amount that we have stored over here. Oh, we can speed up this process by simply stating to drop on floor, instead of running it all the way back. That should help speed things up just a bit. Let's see, construction, Calhoun is on construction too, predominantly for research. Right, well, I need a lot of stuff to be constructed right now, so. Okay, Enbon, why are you not recovering? Oh, oh, that's going way faster than it should. That is going significantly faster than it should be. Uh, we might have to remove his, uh, kidney. Or his liver. I don't think you can live without that. Pretty sure that's just death. Yeah, I'm not, not seeing that here as an option. Yeah, I can remove a heart, but I can't remove a liver. Mm. Well, he does have the Resurrector belt on, so should he die, he'll just pop right back up. It'd be a waste of it if it was over an infection. Oh, and now Apple's in a daze. Okay. Alright. Uh, since we are now digging out this room, we can remove this plan. And now the new well has been established so that we can actually do this. Very nice. There we go. Now we're starting to make real progress. Uh, yeah, looks like he's gonna die to that infection. Uh, probably due to the severe food poisoning he had. Well, and the fact that the tent quality was zero, that probably didn't help. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna set this bed to medical and go tell him to rest until he is healed. Then we're going to... Oh, Myers is out for the count, that's right. Because he has major food poisoning. So in that case, Apple is our second best medic. Who will now be in charge of trying to get this cured. Alright, tend to him. That's a, Oh, did we already burn through all of our medicine? We might have. Okay, there we go. 10 quality, 19%. It's not very good, but hopefully he'll be able to recover still. I'm going to have you refill that real quick. Thank you. We'll keep this bathroom down here, uh, just because there's no reason to really get rid of it. So, that one will just sit down there. Until we eventually just need to remove the whole building. Another tan ambrosia. Man, we have a lot of ambrosia that we could totally just sell. We're making good progress digging at the new hospital. We Interesting. 
So we are slowly running out of steel, but we also are now beginning to reacquire wood in substantial enough amounts I can start turning, start using wood for doors instead of steel. Wood is a renewable source after all. The only reason I was using steel was because that's all we had. But now that we have, I wouldn't say a plentiful amount of wood, but you know, enough wood. Three days of food with 30 meals and a good reserve of raw material. We're doing good, doing good for ourselves finally. Let's see, ah, it's all downhill from here, survive a year. Uh, I, I think we probably should have gotten this achievement uh, a while back. It's been downhill since, what, episode two? What's this? No, I'm good. I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah, looks like he's not recovering from it. Oh, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, yeah, he, he is wearing the... He is. Okay, he is wearing the Resurrector Belt. So he won't die. It is a bit of a waste, but I can't remove his liver for some reason. Despite the fact that I can remove his heart, his lungs, his kidney, and his tongue. Uh, let me just make sure. Live. Yeah, no option for livers. It's a really weird thing to just not have as an option. Alright, so we're going to be just turning these simple beds. I was going to give them to the prisoners, but I think I'm going to just turn them into the medical beds. So we'll do three beds. Actually, I think we can set this up a little better. So while I could theoret- well, not even theoretically. While I could fit more beds in here, I do want- to leave the space to actually store medicine in here. Sacrificing some efficiency in terms of beds for a little bit more of that, I think is fine. Alright. Now, Calhoun will begin moving the beds. Oh, that bed is upside down. Fix that, please. There we go. Okay. In its place, we shall build these. There we go. And now we have a singular proper bed for our prisoners. Not a lot, but it's something. Do these things need to eat? They don't. Can I assign them to a zone? I cannot. Darn, I was gonna say, can I just like shove them in a hole somewhere so they don't die? No, apparently. No, I cannot. Alright, let's select these, make sure they are properly set up as hospital beds. Not the best for hospital beds, but we make do with what we have, not what we want. All in all, though, we're doing alright for ourselves. I mean, we're not, like, doing the best, but we're not, at least at the moment, dying horrible, painful, miserable deaths. Anyway, now that this has been dug out, we can now begin the expansion up here and get a proper little recreation area set up. How am I even going to set up this bathroom? That's a great question. Well, I already know that I'm going to need to put a slate wall here. I already know that much. Then hygiene. 
I mean, it's not going to be a big bathroom. I feel like that much is pretty obvious. But I feel like... Maybe, no. Hmm. No, we'll just do, like, one of those and one of those. So, let's take a look at our ideologies. We have two Yikatai armies, one rancher, one way of unity, one healthcare, one writing, and one economics. We are trying to convert everyone to ranchism, and if we can convert these two first, uh, as I was saying, if we can convert these two, that'll give them the majority, and it'll make it a lot easier to convert more people. Now, a local muffalo has gone mad. Send out the man with a heavy machine gun. He should be able to deal with it. There you, we, there you go. Apple. Apple, no. Man, that is a surprisingly durable muffalo. There we go. Problem dealt with. Yep, bleeds out in six hours. We can just kill it and then add it to the food reserves. All in all, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves, all things considered. Torch isn't even, like, that high set on mining. I've, oh, he has a huge passion for it, though. So, yeah, we'll make him into the, the designated miner. Yeah, you do not have a passion for it. So, no point in having you set to it. Calhoun has a huge passion for mining, but is useful in other areas. Ah, yes. Thank you for that. Man, Storch is just going to town on those rocks. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep his little... His little train here rolling. Go nuts, dude. Look at all this digging you can do. We're gonna have this whole place dug out in no time. Oh, uh, we should probably claim that. Also, Manhunter Pack. Cats. That's a lot of cats! Let's see, gun. Uh, you have a gun. Who else has a gun? Okay, you three have guns. Get over here. Enbon, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ready, have you, have you start firing off some fireballs? There's so many of them. Alright, I'm gonna have you guys actually kind of fall back a little. Throw another one there. Okay. That was a good hit. Good solid hit. You fallen? Actually, we should probably not have them. Oh, apples being mauled. Okay, let's get everybody else out here too. Uh, search and destroy. Apple, uh, flee. There we go. Auto set to flee. Yep, he's falling back. That's a lot of cats. Okay. Start moving forward. Okay. Throwing fireball. Fall back. Okay, keep moving. Okay. I think that's all of them. Okay. 
problem dealt with. I can hear him bleeding out. Or, well, not bleeding out, being burned alive. Okay, where is our medic? Yep, go do your medic job. Okay, so now that this is set up, let's set up a little stockpile zone here. Clear all. Allow only medicine. Do not store medicine here. There we go. Another thing I wanted to set up in here in order to help our um, people do medical work is a torch so that we can see. I feel like that'll help us out quite significantly. And Randy has blessed us with rain to put out the fires that we have set. Oh. Thank you, Myers. Our hospital's totally not full. Thank you. There we go. Now, let there be light in the hospital for the first time ever. We can actually tend to people in the light. We have, we have enough beds for everyone. That's good. Hide in room. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is going to be a significant advancement for us. Man, you are tending so slow. Why? Oh, they're just that injured. Oh, right. I suppose I can now remove these plans as we are currently doing them. Currently have them all queued up. We're going to just deconstruct that. Don't really need it there. We'll keep... Mm, now we'll, we'll deconstruct that too. And he goes right back at it. Alright, looks like the rain has stopped. No fires. At least as far as I can tell. Um... You know what? Let's see if we can't go ahead and tame some muffalo. I mean, we have problems in the winter with it getting too cold, so having wool would be really useful. Let's, uh, let's have Enbon go do that. Doesn't have a passion for animals, but he can do it. Ooh, weapon cargo pod. As usual, we can't afford to be picky, so we'll just grab the whole thing. Myers is a sad wanderer. Eh, that's fine. Don't really care. Oh, and there's some more ambrosia. There we go. 20 more ambrosia for our stockpile. Uh, I think I'm going to set you to not do that. Wow, our storage is actually full for once. Oh, we're going to need to dig out a little faster. Or start using resources. Well, what do we have? We have a lot of slate, which we're going to have to use anyway, because we're going to need to do this. So, I guess that's something you could start doing if you have nothing else to do, is work on replacing that wall. Uh, as well as, you know what, let's, let's set up a, uh, a burn pit. I could put it here, but I don't know if the smog can spread through walls or not. We're going to assume that it can. So we'll set that up right there. Relatively out of the way. Oh, looks like we have our first muffalo. And it's female. I could also tame some petrograd raptors, but those are primarily for looking nice, and we can't really handle that right now, so... This will also help with the mood buffs, or debuffs, I should say. You know what else I could set up? Just as a, another little little idea, another little spitball idea, is what if we made, like, a proper armory here, like this. Completely detached from the rest of the base, 
for now. I mean, I guess I could put a door here. But just a little armory. That could be a pretty good idea. I think we're going to do that. that. That won't be prioritized, but it'll be an idea for now. Just a little thing that we could do once we're done with all this. Myers is no longer wandering in sadness, but now Apple is. Haven't made any research progress, I don't believe, but that's probably because Calhoun is too busy doing all the other important work. So, we'll set everybody to do research if they have nothing else to do. If there's no crafting jobs and there's no cleaning to be done, you can research. You gotta make sure everybody's always working, can't afford to have any slackers. What is this? Yikatai Army. We're not doing Yikatai Army. We're going Ranchism. Does Ranchism even have artifacts? I assume it does. It has three. Perfect. Oh, and one of them's a giant gauze lance. Wait, they despise Neolithic, but one of their relics is a short bow. That's weird. The animal person wants an Eltex cape and a Yarl cape. Or is it- oh wait, no, do they want just one of these? If they want just one of these, that's fine. If they want all three of them, though, that's gonna be a nightmare. Now, oh, and we have our third immature dryad. Most excellent. Yeah, eventually, I have a feeling this mountain's just not going to be a mountain anymore. Considering how close to the edge we're building. Eventually, it's just going to stop being a mountain. Alright, I think I'm going to start replacing all of the internal doors with wood. Only the internal doors, though. External doors can stay steel for safety precautions. Let's see. Uh, stall doors are in hygiene, I believe. They are. Build them out of wood. There we go. Wow, I think this is the first time in a while the majority of my colony have been positive mood. That's kind of nice. It's nice to... Finally not be worrying every five seconds that something bad's gonna happen. Although, we're once again running low on food. So, time to go on a mass hunting spree. The rice fields are almost done, but I'm just gonna go hunt everything into extinction as well. Just to cover all my bases. Eventually I'd like for all my beds to be these. And also to eventually replace all these really poor quality ones. Maybe shove all the poor quality ones in the prison. Uh, oh, right. Another little thing we can start doing is where is the... What do we want to use for the floor? Let's just go with cobblestone. Because all this is going to do is function as a fire break. around our crops. Now that we actually have enough resources to afford this, we're absolutely doing it. I'm not risking that burning down. We won't force Calhoun to work on it, but you know, it's it's there as a potential thing. Uh, another thing we should probably start growing now that I actually have to take care of animals through the winter is we should probably set up a pretty large zone for hay, or as it's called, hay grass, because we are going to need to feed our animals through the winter, and I would rather them eat not, uh, not our food. Yeah, so while Calhoun could theoretically learn faster because they have a 300% XP boost compared to 200, that. Uh, Nico doesn't, or Storch, sorry, Storch doesn't do anything else besides mining, so it's kind of like all he can do, and he has the plus 20% work speed from being a hard worker, although apparently he's a snob and squeamish. Oh, we got Feralisks. We are not gonna let, I am fine with wargs, 
and badgers as predators, we are not having feralisks. Absolutely, frickin' lootly not. Where is Enbon? Enbon, you're going spider exterminator. Actually, we're not even gonna set them to hunt because that might lead to unintended consequences. We're just gonna go kill them. Well, everyone, I think this is where I'm going to leave this particular episode off. Uh, we've made a lot of good progress. We're sending Enbon to go deal with some giant spiders, which he should be able to handle pretty easily. We don't have a lot of food in reserve, but our rice fields have just been harvested. We are killing loads of horses, and our, and our areas are almost fully complete. So, by the by next episode... We're definitely going to have this done, and we're probably going to have the majority of this done. And I hope to see you all there, but until then, goodbye.